What's good YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at you again with another art video on how to cartoon yourself step by step. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, the first thing you want to do, you want to go ahead and set your template. And the template I use is just come to new. 18 by 18 inches so that's the perfect size for if you want to load your artwork into Instagram you know what I'm saying that's the perfect size I use and I render all my pictures out in the PNG file they give me like the best quality so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this picture drop the opacity down Then we're gonna lock that layer, create a new layer by clicking this blank sheet of paper. And we're gonna set our pressure. Come down to pressure. Change these bottom numbers to three. So if you ever wonder what type of brush I use, all I do is set my pressure sensitivity and it give me that, that look, I mean that brush you always see me use in my videos. Let's jump right into this. Take your time with your line work. And another thing I do, I got like the double monitor thing going on so I put a extra image of the picture I'm drawing on the other monitor so I can kind of get a, a good idea of what my line is supposed to go just gotta work your way through it my boy you feel me And if you a new artist, a new digital artist, I would recommend you get you a, a, a tablet, invest in you a digital tablet, the ones with the stream, because it's like, it make it more easier to draw and it make you like more faster and it's more fun at the same time. Like, cause it's, it just flows, everything flow better. And make sure when you're doing your line work that you're closing off your lines so you won't have no problem when it's time to use the coloring method. So I make sure like, make sure that when I'm drawing these lips, I'm closing off my lines at the end where it don't have no opening. To do the hair, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to our picture. We're gonna bring the opacity up some so we can see a little more detail. Then we're gonna go to our pencil tool by right clicking this. And then, if you wanna see my pencil settings, that's my pencil settings. So, you can go ahead and copy that for the, if you get the same settings I got. Okay, come out of that. Move this color black to the top and make sure this bottom color is cut off so you can, you know what I'm saying, trace it and it'll fill in. So watch this. I'm gonna trace the hair and it's gonna fill in the inner area. And I kinda trying to make it like messy. So to give it that. That texture. When you're doing dreads, you want to keep it, keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Get that real feel. And 
and it saves you a lot of time too as far as so you don't have to do all the coloring in on the hair Out. We're gonna go back to our brush. Go back to our brush tool. And we're gonna come back. Just add some detail. And I always try to make the top line above the eye more darker. a little smaller other thing I like to do I like to copy some of these hairs Out and paste them. You know what I'm saying? Uh -oh. So it don't, so it don't look so robotic. Like it's just. That's when you wanna come in with your brush again. Just help it out some. We gonna make this a little smaller on this side. By shrinking it in. Go back to our brush. Okay, as soon as you finish your line work, what you want to do, you want to highlight everything. Right, let me pull my keyboard out so y'all can see what I'm doing. First thing you want to do when you finish your line work, you want to select everything. You want to go to object, expand appearance. You want to go to your Pathfinder and click Merge. And that's going to make all your lines become one. After you do that, you want to make a copy of your line work by dragging it to this blank sheet of paper. Locking the top copy. Select in the second. Now, what you want to do is you want to select your base color to start out with. Rectangle tool and drag that color over my cartoon head. Then you want 
to right click the color go to arrange and send to back and you will know if you did that step right I'm out of focus you will know if you did that step right if you look over here and you see your line work on top of your color okay now what you want to do you want to highlight everything you want to highlight everything then you want to go to your pathfinder and click merge so your line work can become one with your color and now what you want to do you want to right click onto this to the color go to isolate select group and now can click on to areas that's closed off and make changes. I'm gonna delete this outer layer, layer by just hitting delete. And another thing I do too, so I won't make a mistake and select my line work like this. So I won't make a mistake and you know what I'm saying, knock it off or move it. What I do, I click this drop down menu over here click it again and I stroll down till I get to my last black line work and I lock all the, all the black lines and leave these top two unlocked then you close it so now we can get this arrow tool and we can select all the colors that's in the hair without it selecting the line work About it making a mistake and selecting our line work because we just locked it. So go through, clean up the hairs. I change the color of that shirt by clicking this arrow right here. Isolate select group. Sometimes you got to keep here and isolate select a group. And hold shift. And this left color. Highlight everything. Then we're going to go to edit. Go to edit color. Color harmony. Come right here. Go to all. Then we're going to adjust the colors to his shirt. top 
now we finna do some shading so what we're gonna start with we're gonna start with our dark shadows first so click his skin tone Pencil tool, make sure the color is at the top and the bottom one is locked. Now we finna shade. And what I do, I, I really just look at the picture and I I just look where all the dark shadows at. And I just follow that. After we do all our shadows, we can tweak the color at the end and make sure it's, it's blending perfectly. So we just looking at the original picture and seeing where all the dark shadows it. You're just drawing them. And it takes some practice. You'll get better at it if you ain't that good at doing your shadows. The more you do it, the, the better you'll get at it. Tweet the color a little bit, just make it a little more darker. Put a shadow inside the eyes. Same thing for this eye over here. I'm gonna create a layer above the line work. Let's let our color white. Go back to our pencil tool. We're gonna do some highlights on the eye. Now that we did our dark shadows, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create another layer under our dark shadow layer. And we're gonna go a little lighter with the skin tone. So we're gonna sample the skin tone. And just go find a nice in-between color. Finna 
do. We're gonna do the highlights on the face. So we're gonna create one more layer under under that layer. And now sample the skin. We're gonna go for a brighter tone. Highlights we just did. Go to color harmony. Go back to a basic gradient color so we can create our own. What you want to do? You want to fade, make the two end colors dark, but you want to make it blend into another color. Try to keep them both like similar. Both of the edges kind of similar with the colors. Pull them a little closer together. And now you want to make the color in the center. Like a nice. Let's give it a nice blend with the others. So now we're gonna have details to the dreads. There you have it, you guys. How to turn yourself into a cartoon head. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. More heat coming soon. And I'm out of this thing.